rolling right along under 1B. So we're going to do some inequality notes and practice. I'm sure you have used these inequalities before, but I just want to refresh your memory. So when we use inequalities, we're talking about these symbols right here. And the hint that a lot of people uh, use to remember these is called the alligator, right? They picture like an alligator or something like that. And the alligators always want to eat the larger or, or greater number. Yum! Because they're so hungry. So you can picture it like a mouth. Okay, so we're going to start with this first symbol right here, and it is called the less than symbol, okay? We read it left to right, okay? So if you notice, if I take this example over here, and you should be writing these in your notes so that you are ready to go for the next part, um, we are reading it left to right, so we're reading 2 is less than, so notice that smaller side came first here, is less than 5. So the mouth is facing the bigger number. Okay, that's how you want to look at it. But if you look at that symbol individually, when you read it left to right, that smaller side or the like non-mouth part is coming first, so it's less than, and the mouth is facing away. Okay, the next symbol, I'm sure you can guess, is greater than. So when I read that left to right, the mouth comes first, so it's talking about this number being greater than the other. So if we flip it around, 5 is greater than 2. So the mouth is still facing the bigger number, which is 5 in this case. It's still going to eat it. It just comes first this time. And then the last one you know is equal to, so saying like 5 is equal to 5. Okay, so you got some practice to use these skills, so use these notes to help you with the practice below, answering a few questions, using the number line to help. Um, make sure when you're done, you stop, read what it says to do in the grid, because I believe you have a quick check to go get from the pockets in the back. Good luck.